Hello everyone, welcome to the Python lecture and in this lecture we are going to understand what is arithmetic operator inside a Python. See, on a regular basis we keep on doing a addition, multiplication, subtraction, remainder, power, flow division, all sort of operations, right? Even with the help of calculators we keep on doing all of these operations and this is what comes under an arithmetic operator. So let's try to understand one by one so what and all operators are available. So these operators are very basic and easy to understand. I believe all of you must be using it in your day to day life. If not, let's try to explore. So here there is something called as addition operator. I believe we all know a plus symbol, right? I don't think that any one of us are not aware about this addition operator. So addition operator is very simple, A plus B. So let's suppose if I'm going to take a data, A is equals to uh, maybe nine and B is equals to, let's suppose two. Now, if I have to do A plus B, so it's, it's going to give me nine plus two, which is equals to 11. Yes, so this plus is nothing but it's called as addition operator which is a part of arithmetic operator so this is basically called as addition operator plus i don't have to give many example for this one i believe this example is more than enough now if i am going to do a minus b yes a minus b so this is something called as subtraction operator i believe we all are again aware about it yes so arithmetic operator like i said guys it's it's just a very basic one Yes, so this is basically a subtraction operator. Now, let's suppose if I'm going to do A into B, it's called as what? It's called as multiplication operator. I believe, again, we all are aware about it since a childhood. So A into B, 9 into 2. Now, if I'm going to perform maybe A by B operation, so it's called as division operator. Very simple, right? Now, here, if I'm going to write A percentile and then B, now, what is a meaning of this? So here, meaning of this is basically modulo. Let me explain you this particular operator. Maybe some of you are not aware about this one. Okay, so see, what is the value of A? So value of A is equals to basically 9. What is the value of B? So value of B is equals to 2. If you are going to divide 9 by 2, if you are going to divide 9 by 2, right? So 9 by 2. In that case, what will be a remainder? What will be a remainder? So remainder is going to be 1 obviously, right? 9 divided by 2, so remainder is going to be 1. And this is what you will be able to get with the help of this operator. And this operator is basically called as M-O-D-U-L-S, modulus operator. So this is something called as modulus operator. Very simple, very basic, but yet very effective operator that you all will be able to find out inside a arithmetic operation. So whenever you are looking for a remainder, you can use this particular operator in an easiest possible way. Now the next operator, let's try to understand. So let's suppose if I'm trying to perform A and then double static and then B. So what is the value of A? So value of A is nothing but 9. Value of B is basically 2. Execute. Now what has happened? So whenever you are going to use double static, it simply considered as a power. So basically A is equals to 9 and B is equals to 2. You can even read it in a this way. 9 to the power so double static always behaves like a exponential operator so this is something called as double static is called as exponential operator simple exponential operator which behaves as a power so a to the power b or 9 to the power 2 9 to the power 2 is equals to 81 this is the result that you all will be able to receive now let's try to understand our next one exponent is done now here a double forward slash so a slash slash and then b if i'm going to write what is the result i'm able to get so i'm able to get four now what is this one how this is performing this operation so this is something called as floor division this operator is called as f l double o r floor division d i v i s i o n division this is something called as floor division. So whenever you are going to do 9 by 2, so 9 by 2 is equals to 4 point something that you will be able to get. But it is not going to print anything after a decimal. It is going to print absolute integer. So floor division means floor part of the 
entire calculation it is going to give it to you and this is something called as floor division operator which is a double slash so these are the operator guys which exist inside a python arithmetic operator so first one is addition subtraction then multiplication then division then modulus then exponent and then floor division operator so whole hope all of you are able to understand all of these operators one by one see you again in my next lecture guys